welcome to today's video and also an official good morning. Recently, I have been getting up a lot earlier. I'm normally not a morning person, but this has actually been working out pretty well for me and I'm gonna see if I can continue to do this. Obviously during the summer when it's lighter out, it's a lot easier to get up earlier. So yeah, gonna try to continue to uh, be disciplined in that area. So I got home from work this morning, we had breakfast, and then I also dropped off Elton at his grandma's house. He's gonna be spending the day there. For those of you that may be new here, hi, my name is Becca and I'm a mom of one and I'm currently pregnant with my second. And we did find out what we're having, we're having a boy. But right now our life is pretty crazy. We are currently building ourselves a house and we're doing 95% of the work ourselves. And for today's video, I thought it'd be fun to kind of do something a little bit different. I'm gonna be taking you throughout my day, but I'm also gonna be sharing with you six unique design features about our house. Now, my husband and I, we are the ones that designed this house, and so we thought through every detail. I do also want to note that this is not the first house that we built. Back in 2018, when Josiah and I were first engaged, we decided to build ourselves a house then. And so the house that we're building right now is actually our second. And you know, I say we, but it was really all Josiah because at the time I was living in Minnesota, we were in a long distance relationship. And so I was only able to come back like on weekends and help for a few days at a time. So he was really the one behind the whole house build and basically did all the work himself along with family and friends. So with having already designed, built, and lived in a house before, there were definitely things that we were like, okay, if we were ever to build again, we would do this a little bit different and do this a little bit different. And surprise, surprise, uh, like we lived in the house for like two years and then uh, we decided to start this build. So we have officially been working on this house build for about a year and we're not entirely sure when this house is going to be finished. We did have a goal to get it done by hopefully end of October, move in November, because I'm due mid-November, so like move in before the baby is here, but not entirely sure that's gonna be happening as there's still a lot that needs to be done. And honestly, not the biggest deal in the world if we don't get in by the time we have our baby. We're in a very nice, comfortable house right now, and yeah, uh, no rush. All right, enough with the chit chat. I did just wanna kind of give a little bit of a background because again, what we're doing is kind of unique. <laughs> you don't really hear about a whole lot of people building houses by themselves. I am actually going to be making lunch and then we're gonna be heading out to the house. We actually have uh, some family that's gonna be coming to help because we are pouring cement. So I will get into more details once we're out at the house and I can kind of show you what's actually happening. But today should be pretty fun. Uh, it's been a while since I've like had someone watch Elton, that way I can be like more involved. I'm not gonna be pouring concrete though. I don't think like that's the greatest idea being pregnant and all. And also today it's like extremely hot out. I think there's like a heat advisory. It's supposed to only get up to like 93, but they're saying with the humidity, it's gonna feel like 106. So yeah, that's kind of the plan for today. And I'm so excited to be bringing you along and sharing these unique design features about our house with you. All right, got lunch all finished and packed up. So now it's time to head out to the house. All right, made it out to the house. And as you can see, I am standing in the house. This is actually the living room. Driving up to the house, the first thing that you may notice uh, that kind of sticks out at you is our first unique design feature, which is the covered front patio off the front of our house. Obviously, since our house isn't done, we still have a lot of other things that need to get done as well, like the front patio and the finishing touches like finishing off the ceiling, putting in lights, and then we will also be building a big outdoor fireplace going up the front of the house. Another interesting fact that I wanna throw in there is that our main level actually off of like every single wall except for one is going to be like a poured 
patio or slab or something of the sort so obviously that's a lot that needs to happen and we have decided to split it up into four chunks instead of just you know pouring it all at once that would be that would be a lot so that's actually what josiah has been working on this morning and will continue to work on throughout this afternoon is the patio that is going to be off our master bedroom and i will show you that here in a bit but this is actually going to be the second pour a couple days ago we actually poured the patio off the dining room and then also the sidewalk that will connect to the covered patio off the front but going back to the front covered patio, uh, like I said, we are going to be building a fireplace that is gonna go all the way up. And since we decided to go with white, very traditional siding and a black roof, I thought it'd be really neat to uh, do a black fireplace off the front. And then along with the 10 by 10 cedar beams that we decided to put up as well, I think it will bring a lot of character into this house. It is so hot, I don't know if you can tell. I've kind of got a little bit of a glow, but it's literally just because I'm sweating. <laughs> it is so hot and I'm just standing here. Anyway, let's go check out how things are going along with uh, getting ready to pour the master patio off the back. All right, so this is the portion that they are going to be pouring. I don't know how far out since this is off the garage. Of course, we'll have, you know, a slab poured here and I don't know if Joe's planning to bring it all the way out to here as well, I would assume so, but this is gonna be like the last pour that we do. And today is going to be here. And then around here is also gonna be part of the pour. These retaining walls are what Josiah had been working on for like the past week. Ten years. Feels like 10 years, even though I wasn't doing it. This is kind of what it looks like from inside the master bedroom. All right, so I touched on a unique design feature about the outside of their house, but when you walk into the inside, the second unique feature that you may notice is that we have an open but separated floor plan. So it's not just like one big room that has like the dining room, kitchen, living room, nothing wrong with that, I think open floor plans are a lot better than, you know, like super closed in. So walking in, you have your big front entry and then it comes on into the main living room. And then from there, it goes into the kitchen and from the kitchen, it goes to the dining room. So they're kind of, in a sense, stair-stepped and they feel like their own individual rooms while still being able to like, you know, see every room from any of the rooms. <laughs> Uh, going back to kind of what I mentioned earlier with building our first house, uh, this was one of the things that we wanted to change. Our living room, kitchen, and dining room were kind of like one big room. They were like, it was like an L shape almost. But again, with this time around, we wanted things to be separate but open. I'm not saying that open floor plans like the one big room are bad at all. And I personally think that they still look really great. I mean, that's kind of what we did in our first house. But uh, this is what we foresaw working best for our family in the future when we uh, live in this house. I think it's important to remember that what one family likes and what works for them isn't always going to be what's best and what other families like or what works for everyone else. Hi, do you wanna eat? You are drenched. Oh my word. Is it just because of the humidity? Probably because of the heat. Oh my word, Josiah. Oh my word. <laughs> okay. Crazy. And kind of gross. <laughs> I think that's all sweat. Does it help you stay cool though? Yeah. I'm not hot, I'm just sweating. Hey, do you guys want to eat? Sure. Okay. It's ready, it's just it's right here, you guys. Okay. Wow, that is crazy. That kind of goes to show that it's uh, very hot out. Just I doesn't normally sweat that much, but um, considering it looks like he got hosed down with a water hose, yeah, it's, it's hot and humid. 
Anyway, I think we're going to have lunch and then I will check back in again later and continue to share more unique design features about our house. All right, so now that we are all finished up with lunch and they're back out there working on installing the expansion joints, you will probably hear them in the background like you are right now, but I'm going to continue and take you through but I'm going to continue to take you throughout the house and continue to show you the different unique design features. So again, like I was saying, we have an open but separated floor plan. So I'm currently in the living room. And then over here is the kitchen. Uh, from the kitchen leads into the dining room, which also leads me to my third unique design feature. Our dining room is a multifunctional room, or will be when we're living in this house. We do plan to homeschool our kids and when that day comes, we are going to be using this dining room as not only a dining room, but also a school room. Now, one thing that you may notice and you may not notice when you come in here is that the windows are actually off-centered with the room. Don't worry, this was not on accident. This was on purpose. And the reason behind it is with homeschooling, obviously you have a lot of books and, you know, just everything that comes along with that. And I wanted to have the option to do built-ins alongside the north wall and what our plan is i don't we're not going to do this right away but our plan is to do like built-in cabinets all along that wall that way when it's school time we can pull our books out take them out you know arts and crafts whatever and then once we're finished then we can just you know pop them back in there, close the cabinet doors, and call it good. I think a lot of people in dining rooms and offices, they do like open shelves, which look beautiful for decor, but I think in this room, I mean, obviously we'll have some time before we have to like decide on this because we're not putting them in right away, but I think it will be very practical to have them just be cabinets where we can just close the door. So moving along back into the kitchen, you'll notice that we have two doors off the kitchen. This kind of goes off of my last point, but again, just using multifunctional spaces. We have our pantry slash utility, and then the other door leads into our playroom slash nursery. But my number four unique design feature is that we have a playroom off of our main living space. I think this will be very practical in the long run, just with, I mean, we're expecting our second, so we're gonna have littles running around in this house once we get moved in. And then if I'm working in the kitchen and I want the boys nearby, I can just have them pop into the playroom and I can still keep a close eye on them uh, while getting done the things I need to get done. All right, I'm in the nursery now. Unique design feature number five is that our nursery is actually connected to our master bedroom through our master bathroom. This is obviously a design feature that a young family like ours uh, would really appreciate. I don't think it's something that everyone would want, especially if they're not having kids for a while or whatever, but if we ever decide to sell this house, which I don't think we will for a long time, but if we did and we sold it to a couple who don't have any kids, they could easily turn this nursery into like another master closet, which would be really awesome. But here is what it looks like going from the nursery to the master bathroom and then into the master bedroom. Now, I do want to point out that this is not the main entrance to our master bedroom. Our master bedroom does have a door that comes off of the main living space. Now, as of right now, I have not filmed a full house tour and I do plan to do that. I, I want to do like an unfinished house tour and then an empty house tour and then like a finished house tour. It's kind of fun to see the whole uh, floor plan because obviously I'm not showing you everything today. I did want to continue and show you a little bit of what we have been working on over the past week. Josiah has gotten a lot accomplished. If you watched any of my recent videos a couple weeks back, we got a bunch of water in inside our house. And if you want more details on all of that, I will just link the video down below so you can go watch that and see kind of how all that <laughs> went down. That kind of led us to uh, doing some of the dirt work around the house and also building retaining walls, which again, that's what Josiah was working on this last week. And I'm so glad that he finally got it done because again, he was doing this mid-July. So it was like 
easily in the upper 90s almost every day he was out here working in the sun. Right here, this is the last retaining wall that he just finished up, but this is off the dining room. And we are just planning to plant grass along here. And then this is what it looks like from up the hill a little ways. I don't think I've shown much of our backyard before just because we're always working in the front yard and you know that's just where we are and then also it wasn't like we had the finished grade done so now that it is done you can get a little better of a feel of what it's gonna look like in the end so this is our backyard he does have a little more finished grade to do yet and while I'm back here I'm going to share my sixth and a final unique design feature about our house so I'm sure you already kind of picked up on it but it's the back of our house and how how it looks it looks a little unique i must say we weren't planning to do something like this in the beginning we were just going to have it like a regular pitched roof but we ended up shrinking down the second story right here and so it just made more sense to do like a shed style type roof and yeah it, it does look a little funny from the back and from like an aerial view, it looks like half of our house got chopped off. Uh, so that's kind of funny, but it most likely won't look like this forever. Down the road, if we ever do need to add on to our house, we would add on off the back, back here. And so we'd kind of add like a second half. So that would definitely uh, change the look of the back of the house. There are four retaining walls all together that Josiah built. There's the one right there, which is the second to the largest. And this like window well retaining wall. This is retaining wall number three. That is also for our master bedroom. And then of course, this retaining wall that's down there. It is so fun to see the backyard all coming together with like the, the finished, well, close to finished grade. It just makes me really excited to move out here and to be able to enjoy this beautiful nature that God created each and every day. I mean, we already do because we're out here a lot, but on a whole new level. All right, I am back inside and that is going to finish off my six unique design features about our house. I would love to know your thoughts on this video and which design feature you liked best. So be sure to comment down below and like this video as well as it really shows me, you know, what kind of content you guys enjoy watching and seeing from this channel. Concrete is all laid, so Josiah is going over it with the screen, but we're kind of running into a little bit of an issue. The concrete is um, drying quite quickly, and so they have some water bottles that they're squirting a little bit of water over the surface in hopes that it will like slow down the drying process. That way we can get it smoothed out before, before it's too late. So we'll see how uh, the rest of this evening will go. The concrete pour did end up taking a little bit longer than what we were expecting, but it'll be all right, I think, in the end, hopefully. All right, well, the pour is done, and I just have to say, sometimes things don't always go as planned and uh, today's pour did not go as planned. It's the end of July and it's, I mean, you know, it's very, very hot out today, it's in the 90s. And so when it's really warm out, concrete dries really fast. And so, and so the concrete is not looking the greatest. And so just I had a moment of um, lots of frustration, which I totally understand. Anyway, it's like six o'clock. It's 
a quarter after six actually. So I need to go pick up Elton. I was actually expecting to uh, uh, pick him up earlier. I just feel so bad. So I'm gonna go pick up Elton and then we'll head home and work on making supper. Josiah also has a softball game tonight. His game starts at like 8.30 so it's pretty late. But we'll just play it by ear. Anyway, that's, um, that's kind of how things went. Again, you don't always know how things are going to go. But I'm going to go pick up Elton and I'll check back in later. Alright, I think I mentioned that we were going to be going to softball tonight. Well, got to softball. Found out that it was cancelled. So we turned around and came back out to the house and we're just checking out the finish of the concrete. Joe's gonna um, sweep over it. Broom, broom it? Sweep it? <laughs> again and Can see. Can I broom it again? I don't know. Is that what you were gonna do? I don't know. I don't know if it's helping us. I think it's helping. Oh, it looks so good though. Like, it's so fun to see this, this all poured, you know? The quality of this video is probably a little bit different, but that's because I'm recording on my phone. I left my camera at home. But this is where I'm going to close out today's video. Thank you so much for following along if you made it this far. And if you'd like to continue to follow along on not only this whole house build, but this current pregnancy and, you know, the future move that's going to be coming up before too long, then consider subscribing and also like this video. It helps me know what kind of content you guys like. And yeah, thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.